So what are the levels of Qigong? And what differs Qigong from Yigong? The basically, the main difference I told you already. One is mind is included within the work. And the other one is as much as it is possible, you do not include your mind into this work. The first four levels, all together, <coughs> from here to here, <coughs> Neigong, now the inner elixir, I will not count into that, but normally all together, <coughs> we have nine levels. If you want to go the distance from the very beginning to the very end, so it starts with Qigong, four levels, it goes into Yigong and then it goes continue to go into Shen Gong. When you want to pass all the levels, these are all together nine levels in our school. Yeah. So the first four first we start with gathering. Then we go into feeling. Then we go into condensing. The fourth one is flow. So, Qi aufnehmen, Qi wahrnehmen, Qi verdichten und Qi fließen lassen in German. So, gathering, Qi, feeling Qi, condensing Qi and let the Qi flow. These are the first four levels. These two last levels, you can also switch like you can, after the feeling, you can go into the flow of the chi and then come to the condensing part or like what I have written here. It's both, it's possible and it is not totally dogmatic that you say, okay, it must be first condensing and then flowing or first flowing and then condensing. Yeah, it can be like this and reverse, yeah. But for sure, chi starts with gathering. So every human being, every newborn does this, this first level. You don't need to be a practicant of internal martial arts to be able to do it. Because every human being breathes, we breathe air, we eat, chi arises, we drink water, and somehow, also, we have different kind of feelings from where also Qi can appear. So all the human beings have this first level, gather Qi. Gathering Qi is not connected in some kind of professional conscious work. This can happen unconsciously and happens in every human. So to understand that, you must understand what is Qi. I didn't translate it before, like I said, like Yi, mind, Shen, spirit, Nei Dan, like inner elixir, but Qi, what is Qi? Qi basically you can translate as a flow between two points, point A, point B, and the, the flow in between we can call Qi. So the so the old sign of Qi. Somebody has a Shazam shirt here? No. Okay, doesn't matter. So because the Shazam sign is, uh, when you turn it, is exactly the oldest sign in China for Qi. The, the oldest sign what the Chinese had for Qi. But also the old sign and the new sign for Qi for Chinese, what they use is Upgoing steam, steam. This is the sign for chi. 
So, <coughs> earth is in Chinese Taoism, in Chinese culture, and it comes from Taoism. Earth represents yin. Heaven represents yang. So, <coughs> steam rises from the earth and going towards the sky. So, it means from yin to yang means the flow between two points, like yin point, yang point, the flow in between is considered as uh, that what we call qi. And that, for the Taoist, is what life is. So this flow, without this flow, there were no life, because this is movement. Yeah, if there's only yin and yang, without a flow in between, there's no life. So if there's only, let's say, one point, there is no life. So that's why Wu Ji, Tai Ji, Liang Yi. And then the life spreads. Like Wu Ji is, yeah, I talk fast now, nothingness. About Wu Ji we can talk three days and three nights and it will be not enough. But Wu Ji, Wu Ji, Wu means nothing, no, or empty. G means pole, like a point of power. So Wuji is the origin state of Tao. Taiji is what comes from Wuji. Supreme pole, supreme power, supreme one. This is what comes from Wuji, from nothingness. The oldest explanations, okay? How everything here is there. So, from Taiji or within Taiji, there is Liang Yi. The two appearances, or Yin and Yang. So, Yin, Earth, yeah? Yang, Heaven. And the flow in between is life. Yeah? So, but this doesn't mean like after Taiji, like yin yang. So, after Taiji was earth and heaven. I don't say that. It's just like yin and yang. This is one example for yin and yang. Like earth and heaven. It's only one example for yin and yang. As the oldest classics describe from Taoism, like all what I talk today is all about like f what comes from Taoism, is that the human body also have these kind of points, like yin yang points. And the flow in between those points we describe also as qi. Yeah? So there are different variations of like how many points have the human body, yeah, and where's the flow and where's the yin flow, where's the yang flow, and especially you can change yin into yang, yang into yin with your movements. There is what, what, you know, when we talk about taiji, then we talk about these kind of things. But today, just a general thing. So, therefore, gather chi means. You gather chi even consciously or without consciousness, without consciously working on it, you gather chi. Because everything which is alive is within chi. Everything created, when we use this word, you can use any word for that. Some people fear this word creation because they fear religion and stuff like this, but I don't fear it. So, everything which is created is fulfilled with Qi. If there is no Qi, there is no creation. If there is no flow, there is no movement, means there is no creation. So, if, we must also think reverse, like, if there is something, there is movement. There must be movement. Yeah? So, this is how, like, 
we gather chi because everything like when we breathe also when you know when the uh, in Qigong, it's also said like Xi Qi Hu Qi. Yeah, you breathe in means already you breathe already Qi. You breathe out, you breathe out Qi like this. This is what what they always refer refer to. But of course, this is the very general explanation how every person and everything which is alive, everything alive. It's fulfilled with chi because in everywhere where you can see movement, everywhere you can see movement. In this stone, you can see movement. You just need to zoom far enough into it to see it. And because some people say, okay, humans are alive, animals are alive, plants are alive, but this sand back here or stones are not alive. Of course, I don't believe in that. Everything in motion is alive. Everything what moves, there is something with life, let the thing move. And when you take the stone and zoom far enough into it, you can see the atoms move, you can see the neutrons move. You know, you can see everything inside moving. And even though you go further into it, you see much more mo movement. You can go into the like strings and further and then into the light, let's say, what they would say, energetical levels. Yeah. So all that is Qi. So therefore, every one of us gather Qi if we want or not. It's always in come and go, all the time. Yeah. But here in the second level starts the work with chi, feel chi. This is how we start. And feeling has nothing to do with waiting for something. Yeah? So let's say Wu Ji Zhuang. Wu Ji Zhuang. Pillar of polelessness, yeah. So in Taoism we say everything starts from Wuji. So one of the very first pillars we practice is also Wuji Zhuang. Yeah. After Bao Yuan Shou Yi, our first pillar is Wuji Zhuang. Standing pillar. So Doing this standing meditation, switching off and releasing, letting go the thoughts, and when they come, not fighting them, when they go, not following them, brings us this, this state. And this action can bring us into a state of feeling what's happening inside us. And there we go with the feeling. It is not... What time does this feeling come? What time, what time, what time? And mind is all the time working on the hands or whatever. It's not that. Feeling comes from not thinking. It's not from thinking. You can think as much as you like. It's not has nothing to do with feeling. Feeling comes when you stop thinking. I met one <clears throat> person. He had a. He became a disciple. And. It was Hinduism, and he became this one name, like the English translation of his name was Not Thinking Heaven. Not Thinking Heaven. This was the 
it was very very uh, cool to hear and very interesting for me that name so all what we have with thinking all what have to do with thinking also somehow captures us into this world of thoughts and the moment when we can let go maybe this is one kind of heaven one kind of you know out of this world because if we are truly honest to ourselves what is this world here yeah we say it's material and stuff yeah of course it's material it's like i'm standing on something right my body you can touch and everything but if we really honest to ourselves, everything what I'm talking right now, it's about my thoughts. Everything, like, you know, the, like when we, when we go into the voices here, into the nature, and we listen. So it's not the nature. It's in my head what, what I work out of that. And th these are thoughts again. So what I'm talking to you, yes, I'm a human being, I'm out of materia, but all what my words, everything what come to you is up to your mind and up to your work inside your mind with your thoughts. So therefore, again, these are thoughts. Everything what happens in this world, in the whole universe, it's about thoughts. But let's talk about our world. Everything what happened is thought. Like you fear something because you know things about those or this thing. Let's say something like a cobra. Yeah, king cobra. Why you scare the king cobra? Because you think stuff about this king cobra what you what some people told you before or you have seen. Why a little baby doesn't scare the king cobra? Why? The little baby goes and touch the cobra. Why? Because the baby doesn't think. So maybe this name, not thinking heaven, refers also to that. That we can, if we can overcome the thinking level, we can go into another level called feeling. And maybe this is one kind of what we refer heaven. Yeah? Because it's not physical much anymore. Yes, you, you feel physical things. Yes, too. Yeah? But at the end, you stop calculating about these physical things and the feeling can appear. And same like that, the second level of Qigong is basically here at this level starts the gung of the Qi, like the work of the Qi. Before that, everyone has it. This first level, every human being has it. Because everyone eats, everyone drinks, everyone breathes. Therefore, if we talk about gung, like Qigong, and you all came to the school, to do some kind of work. So you, all of you, you can consider yourself working on that level at least, second level. And again, short, but again, because it's very important, you are not at this level. <coughs> if you stand there and say, okay, Isme told me my hands gonna become warm. Or I read about that the cribbling will come and then you are waiting for it. That is not feeling. Feeling is not thinking and being. Okay? So this is the second level. So the third level. Let's talk about the fourth level first, flow. Letting Qi flow. 
letting it flow. Not making it flow, letting it flow. This is possible if the feeling is appeared already. Yeah? So if you don't have any feeling of chi, then letting it flow will be difficult. Like in the first level, like gathering, everybody has it. Also in everybody's human, the chi anyway flows. It anyway, it flows. Letting it flow has nothing actively. It is nothing what you do that it happens. It happens anyway. As I said, if there is no flow, there is no chi, there is no life. So, in our case, there is, because we see, okay, we are alive, means there is flow, there is movement within us, so there is life. Letting it flow means nothing else than have the feeling and letting it happen. Everything what happens, letting it happen. This doesn't mean change something into the flow, change something into that direction or into this direction. It's, it only means after you have the level of feeling, letting it happen and the flow will, you will feel it anyway by yourself, how it will enhance by itself from, with the time. So, this is the flow. Now, condensing, verdichten, condensing, it is still nothing active, but very near into active, into activity, into conscious activity. But it's not, but it's very near to it. Condensing. So, this first Center, let's call it center in our body where we want to condense chi is our dantian, the field of elixir. So condensing is done now still without thought, but with a passive way of when you breathe that you're not breathing to your chest, but breathing into that area where we say your hands are mostly, when you stand in this position, or where we refer where Dantian is. So mostly when we say condensing Qi, so we say, okay, breathe deep, then the Qi will condense in Dantian. Don't, do not breathe into that area, do not breathe into this area, breathe as deep as you can. Yeah? So, means we use the help of the breath and not the air, I'm not talking about the air, I talk about the breath. We use the help of the breath to passively do something in that area, meaning direct it natural to this area. It's also called natural embryo breathing. Yeah, because it's not really consciously, um, yeah, for us it's consciously done because we are now, now more and more, as more we grow. We, we breathe more into this kind of area because of our ego. But normally the breath goes deep. Natural, it goes deep to this area. Yeah? So we must relearn it to bring it to that area, like lower than the heart chakra and um, yeah, lower than the chest area. This is how we condense chi without putting too much thought or visualization into it. So the, the, 
the most visualization, if we call it that way, is that we say, okay, our breath goes there. When we breathe, our breath goes to that area. Yeah? With the time, Qi will condense there and we will feel also this in different ways. Yeah, mostly people feel the heat there. And also you can like feel that from there energetical waves go into your rest of your body with the time. This comes when you practice this for, for a period of time. But even you don't have this feeling, it doesn't mean that this not happening. This example what I always bring is <coughs> because like students asking me, yeah, everybody is feeling this flow in their hands, but I don't feel it. So uh, on my hand the chi is not flowing. It's the same as you say, as you would say, I don't feel the blood flowing in my body, it's not flowing. It's flowing, right? And even blood you should feel more because it's more rough and more, you know, material than chi. But who of you feel the blood right now? Who, who feel it flowing exactly, how it flows and where it goes? Yes, there are people can can feel that too, but we don't feel it, right? So, this doesn't mean that there is no blood flow in your body. It just means that your feeling is not there. Therefore, I said, look, gathering chi everybody has and does, but feeling we must work on. It's the same with, like, the ex like explanation with the blood, it's the same with the chi also. So we must work on it, that the feeling somehow can come. Yeah? So condensing here is, would be the last level of flow.